Hi everybody, Budget Prepper here. Today I'm going to do a product review on the Food Saver V2840 vacuum sealer. I bought this vacuum sealer about six months ago and I've used it quite a bit. Um, I use it on meats and fish and also dry goods and it's done a very good job so far. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go over all the features of the unit for you. Okay, the first thing you see here is a accessory port and what you do is you plug in this vacuum hose that's it has its own little thing on the back that holds it in place but it, it inserts into this port here and then you put the other end of the hose into accessories such as this uh, wide mouth jar sealer and that lets you put a vacuum onto a standard mason jar. Um, the next thing you see is the settings. You've got the speed which is high and normal and that's depending on the size of the bag you would use a high speed for large bags and normal for other size bags, the medium and smaller. Uh, you've also got the uh, food which is settings which is moist and dry. Obviously you know for dry goods it would use the dry and <laughs> for meats and other liquids you would use the moist setting and that's the speed is what it is. You don't want it to have a high speed when you're trying to seal something with a lot of liquid or it's going to try to suck it into the unit. Um, then you have two buttons here. One is for vacuum and seal and one is just for seal. Use the vacuum and seal button once you've got everything inside the the uh, bag and you want to suck all the air out and seal it for storage. And then the seal button by itself is just if you want to one thing you have to seal the bottom of the bag on this material to uh, make it into where you can put stuff into it and then you could also just seal a bag up if you didn't want to put vacuum on it uh, such you know something fragile like noodles that you might want to do that. Okay on the side of the sealer you have the lever which has three positions open, store, and operate. Um, obviously open this so you can pop the lid up. Stores is allows you to lock the lid so that you can actually rotate the unit up and store it on your counter a little easier. It's got a button there that lets it uh, swivel up on the base and then you have to put it in operate mode once you're ready to push the button to seal it to, or to vacuum it and seal it. Okay let's take a look under the hood inside the unit you have uh, right here is the strip that heats up and seals the material this is right here is a uh, tray the uh, when you put the material in to, to vacuum seal it you put the, the edge in here and what that does is it catches any liquids that might come out of the bag so it's easier to clean up the whole unit. This is the uh, cutter that the material goes in. Let me show you real quick. You have materials and rows. The, the, the bags come in rolls and it's just one long strip and it's just sealed on the edges. And so what you do is you put the bag material underneath like that and you pull it out. First thing you do is you pull the bag just past this sealer strip and it's about right there and then you close the unit you seal it and that makes the bottom of your bag and then you pull your material out to the length you need to store things plus a couple more inches to allow you room to seal and then you slide this cutter and that cuts it to length so it's got a built-in cutter on that and then you like I said you take it out put the stuff in it and then you put it back in and you seal it and I'll show you that in just a bit also up in here took me a while to figure it out that's a pen clip in case you want to put your sharpie in there for safe storage or where you be able to find it uh, so you can mark all your bags with the date and so forth that's a good idea and that's basically it I mean you have these seals here and you can remove them and clean them and maybe wash them if they get dirty like I said you can you can lift this thing out and you will get liquid in there when you do something that's moist so you have to be able to clean, pull it out and wash it out if you don't have any meats or blood from meat left in there and that's basically it so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it actually runs and operates and how easy it is to use. Alright now I'm going to do a quick demonstration on how to to vacuum seal some dry goods. I've measured out eight cups of white rice here. And the first thing I need to do is make my bag. So 
Here's the sealer strip. Just want to pull the material out just past that. Make sure it's kind of straight. And you gotta remember you gotta seal this because it's just it's a long roll of material and it's just got two edges sealed. So you want to seal the bottom. It gives you a way to pour the material inside. So first thing you do is you close the lid. You rotate this to the operate position. And we're just going to hit the seal button because there's no need for a vacuum at this time. We just want to seal the bottom of the bag. So push that button. Turns red. And we just wait for that to not be red anymore. And then we can open up and use it. So it's already done. So I release the lever. Open this up. And now I've got the bag with the sealed bottom. Alright, so next I measure out the bag, what I think it's going to need to hold this. Um, kind of already figured that out. It's, there's little lines here to help you out about every two inches. So it's going to take about four of those. And so here's the fourth line. I can back it up here. Get this little groove in here. I'm going to look in my cutter, make sure that's kind of straight. Hold that down a bit and just slide that across. And that cuts your bag for you. So next I'm going to pour the contents of this inside. And then I'm going to show you how to seal it.